In each episode of Real Scene TV, we like to show you the heart of the community. In this episode, Tyree Rudolph takes you inside the Indiana Pacers. As many of you may know, the Indiana Pacers had a fantastic season last year. They were number two in the country. Confused? I'm Tyree Rudolph, and I'm here to introduce you to the other Indiana Pacers. Can you tell us a little bit about the rules and how they relate to NBA rules? Uh, actually, we play uh, closer to uh, NCAA college rules. It's uh, two 20-minute halves. We play a 30-second shot clock. We have a 10-second half-court line, five-second roll, three-second. All the fouls are pretty much the same. There's no double dribble, uh, obviously, because we're using our arms to move each other. So you have there is traveling, though. You have to. You have to dribble the ball at least once for every uh, twice that you push the chair. All the heights are the same, the distances are the same as college that we play. So You don't have to be permanently in a wheelchair to play wheelchair basketball. You have to have some disability that prevents you from playing able-bodied basketball, or as we say, temporarily able-bodied basketball. That's uh, the main thing we're trying to do is get the word out about wheelchair basketball and, uh, and the NWBA and the RHI uh, Indiana Pacers. So, you know, everybody's welcome to come out anytime. Personally, for me, I got into it when I was 15, well, 17. I was uh, 15 when I was injured, but two years later, I had the chance to play wheelchair basketball and open up a whole new world because I had the why means, how come, what am I going to do now? And really, I didn't want to live, but it has saved my life because, like I said earlier, it gave me something to look forward to. You know, uh, every Thursday we would practice, just like here at Traders Point Christian Church, we practice on Sunday, you know, so I know where I'm going to be at 6 o'clock, you know, on Sunday. It's playing basketball, and it gave me structure and they helped my family because my family, they didn't know how to relate. So not only does this league give guys and girls something to look forward to, where can they take this experience or where can this experience take them? Well, just for example, after like being in the junior league, which is prior to being in the adult league, which is the 13 through 18 year olds, it pushes some of these children because they really want to go farther. There is nine colleges in the country that give full ride scholarships for basketball. And University of Illinois also gives a full ride scholarship for track. They got one of the top tracks in the country. And from there, you will see individuals go to overseas and play European ball professionally for two years, then come back and play on the U.S. National Paralympic team. To keep up with the RHI Pacers, be sure to like them.